The drama around former South African President Jacob Zuma's jailing has had deadly consequences. 72 people have been killed in the riots. At least four Somalis are among them. Hundreds of businesses have been destroyed and or looted. Mogadishu and other governments have urged authorities to quell the violence. In response, South African police say they have identified 12 ringleaders and arrested over 1,200 who participated in the mayhem. In Kwa Natal Zulu, Zuma's home area, cattle rustling is reported to be widespread. Fellow South Africans, good evening. President Cyril Ramaphosa has dispatched 2,500 troops to try and get the situation under control. It is few compared to the 70,000 he activated to enforce the COVID-19 lockdown. The opposition politicians have criticized the use of federal security forces. The Economic Freedom Fighters Party has called for political intervention and engagement with our people. Indeed, while Zuma supporters have been encouraged to protest by his lawyers, many involved in the chaos say they are mad because they are poor. Unemployment is over 32% nationwide, over 46% among youth. Numerous looters appear to be stocking up on household goods that perhaps they can't afford. while others have been hitting high-end businesses. The havoc has even spread to wealthy neighborhoods where homes have been raided. Residents are staying at home and trying to organize defense squads to keep from being victimized. Journalists have been threatened by thugs, leading one South African outlet to write an open letter to President Ramaphosa. As we write this letter, our journalists in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng are being threatened by the looting mobs to have their faces cut open for reporting on this complete breakdown of law and order in our country. The letter predicts food and fuel shortages due to the looting, continuing, With all respect, Mr. President, Your words are no longer enough. We implore you to immediately deploy enough and visible security resources to KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng to restore peace and stability before it's too late. It is ironic that the man accused of looting his own country's wealth has led his followers to loot the smallest businesses in the country. and the African National Congress, the party of Nelson Mandela, which suffered so much from white police brutality, now faces the prospect of sending their top security forces after their own people. ADN-TV will continue to report on political and security developments across Africa.